Credit Union users review and create outgoing wires in the Money Movement module. From the home screen, navigate to the Money Movement module, click the Wires drop-down, and select Outgoing Wires. The screen will default to outgoing wires from the current date, but users may create custom date ranges by using column filters. and using the previous year, previous month, next month, and next year arrow icons. Outgoing wires may be sorted and filtered on all columns. Clicking the arrow next to a column header sorts the column. The orange arrow indicates which column is currently sorting all information on the card. Additional filtering may be performed by utilizing the search, drop-down, and or date range boxes located at the top of each column. Click the X to remove a filter on a specific column, or click the Clear Filters option to remove all filtering and reset. Requested data may be exported to PDF by clicking the Export to PDF button in the upper right-hand corner. To review the detail of an outgoing wire, click the wire ID. The very top of the screen provides wire entry information. Once approved, this area will also provide approval information. Users will see entered by, approved by, OFAC status, IMAD, and who at the corporate posted and extracted the wire. Users will review and be able to see the wire detail information, originator, wire routing, final credit, and references. Click back to outgoing wire list to see the list of outgoing wires and to create new outgoing wires. To create a new wire, click the Create New button in the upper right-hand corner. Outgoing wires require dual approval, so a second user will need to approve the wire prior to cutoff time to send it out. To utilize a pre-authorized template, select the appropriate template from the drop-down menu. The only additional information required for pre-authorized templates is the dollar amount and the member contact for verification, as well as any additional reference information. Click the Next button to proceed through the screens. Review the final wire detail and click Create to initiate the wire. For one-time wires, skip the pre-authorized template dropdown. Indicate which business function code and type code to use for the wire. Provide the credit union member contact for verification and the dollar amount. Click Next. Complete the originator information. This is the entity sending the wire. Outgoing wires over $3,000 require the address for the originator. Indicate if an intermediary or correspondent financial institution will be used. If no, click Next. If yes, provide that institution's information. Once completed, click Next. Provide the final financial institution's information. This is the financial institution where the beneficiary will receive funds. Click Next. Provide the beneficiary's information. This is the final entity that will receive the funds. Click Next. Finally, provide any reference information that must be included with the wire. Click Next. Review the wire detail, then click Create. The wire status will now change to In Review. A second user will now approve the wire.
Wires awaiting approval show a status of pending approval to all other users that have not entered the wire. The user who entered the wire will see a status of in review. For more information on how to approve a wire, please review the outgoing wire approvals video.